Well, this is Master Use, and I can't wait for my new editing room to be finished. It, they haven't started the slab yet, and I'm already ready to move in. Uh, so everything's a mess here. But today I am doing a review of the PXWX70 low light performance compared to the RX10 Mark III. Now, I have just recently acquired the RX-10 Mark III. I've had the PXW for eight, nine months at least. Uh, and you'll see my reviews. I gave one review on I really like the PXW X70, and, but I gave another review, don't buy it because it's sort of a money pit because they didn't include 4K with it. And I've started using the RX-10 Mark III to see how it's going to fit into my filmmaking. And... I got to, uh, to comparing the low light performance of both cameras. Now, compared to my older A57 Sony DSLR, the RX10 Mark III has way better low light performance. Okay? Compared to the PXWX70, they both have good low light performance. Not near as good. Is a three thousand dollar camera, but noticeably improvement over my Alpha 57 or some of the older cameras. Noticeable improvement. The question is, which has better low light performance in their range? Because as I said, they're not three thousand dollar cameras. One's fourteen hundred, one's two thousand dollars. Which has the best low light performance? Well, they both have fairly comparable low light performance except one important thing the PXWX70 had better low light performance that showed less grain okay all that noise all that noise you get in there the PXWX70 surprisingly had better low light performance with less noise way less noise than the RX10 Mark III now, I haven't figured that out yet. They're both comparable. They both have an improvement on low-light performance, but the RX-10 Mark III noticeably has more noise in it in the same shot than the PXWX-70. So, effectively, it has the worst low-light performance compared to the PXWX70. Now go figure that you never really know what a camera's going to do until they get it put out, they get the lens on it, they get the sensor on it. There's so many variables that you really know what they don't know what they're going to do or how they're going to perform. Now, that doesn't mean the RX10 Mark III wasn't usable in low light. It is if it low light's not real low low light, okay? And if you add a little bit of background light to it somehow, uh, it's most certainly usable and it's better than Alpha 57 it's better than the older cameras but it, I have to shoot low light and it's pretty hard to get any additional light in there I'm probably going to use the PXWX70 so there you have it surprising the PXWX70 beat the low light performance of the RX10 Mark III when you compare it to the fact that it shows a lot less noise in the shot both of them you could see in but the noise was way worse in the rx10 mark three all right there you have it i'm gone i've got to get outside and and try to push these guys and get and work on this building master use bye bye